Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gamma.my. I'm your host Abdurrahman as always and today we're going to be reviewing a very big and large box. It is the Monster Hunters Rattlos. Now this Rattlos is by Tamashi Nations and yes it is almost as similar as the Nagakuga but it is in larger scale and in a larger box as you can see. Now within this kit it offers not that much options but I'll show you each and every single part that you will get when unboxing this specific kit now you will be welcome with a singular manual as you can see really standard and it's just a single piece of paper nothing much simple and straightforward so let's head straight for the pieces of this kit so after unboxing the Rattlos kit here, it is the Rattlos. Now as you notice, I actually detached the wings and you'll be equipped with a singular stand. And this stand is a pretty good stand, it provides with a lot of other stands so that you can actually properly stand the Rattlos with its ginormous wings. Now the wings are pretty big. Now as you can see, the Rattlos is in really nice color and I actually detached one of the wings just to demonstrate you how big it is because the wings can change into two forms in idle form or in the expanded form as you can see. Pretty big in scale. Now as you can see, each and every one of these pieces are ball circuited joints so you have to actually detach them pretty easily and put them back in. So it offers that amount of movement, not that much really, but with the large expanded wings as you can see it's pretty big compared to the idleness of the other wing as you can see if I were to compare it size, really big and it's as big as my palm. So let's head straight to the movement. And now it's time to test the movement for the Rattlos. The Rattlos head can move 360 as so. Each and every single part of the head can actually be moved but not in a very extreme angle. Each and every part of the Rattlos' body has joints, uh, ball socketed joints as you can see. Really nice if you can see. And the wings can actually move 360 but uh, I doubt that it can move that much when the wings are actually attached because if I did a 360 movement with the wings on it will actually pop up so as you can see really nice movement there the wings also offer some movement actually as you can see now some parts of the wings are actually fixed to the wings so not that much amount of movement there the main body can move as so not that much really can't move 360 now the legs are really nice they do not have the same problem as the Nagakuga that they keep popping off now as you can see they can move 360 and so and the claws can move independently each and every one of them each and every one of those fingers except for the back of the claw yeah it can't move it's just fixated now the most favorite part about this entire model is the tail I really like the tail because every Every single part of that tail has its own independent joint so it can really really bend in an extreme angle but not too much if you do so the tail will snap off like just now and as you can see it can move downwards to a really nice angle so that when it's flying or stretching its wings it can actually bend the tail overall it's a really nice kit I like the colorization with the rattlers with this kit entirely the black and red it kind of gives that same feel that same look from the original monster hunter series now as you can see i'm actually going to change the rattlelos's wings into a stretch version which is basically a flying version of the wing itself the wing specifically when on stretch is pretty big it's really huge it's actually as big as my hand as i actually made a comparison earlier so my advice is that uh do be careful with them it is quite big and so it is not by any means fragile because the wings are pretty hard and sturdy but overall it is a really nice kit so i forgot to mention to you that this kit doesn't come with its own hunter so that's the sad thing about this kit but it does come with its own fire effect as you can see from the mouth itself it can actually have its own fire effect but it doesn't have come with its own hunter like the Nagukuga or has its own environmental stand it comes with its own standard stand but the standard stand i really like about it because why the standard stand can actually hold up not only the model itself it can hold up the wing as well so overall it is a really nice kit you can feel that it is really 
in a way that the scales look real too from afar. The scales look really nice, well painted. I really like the paint job about it. It doesn't have that much amount of sloppiness, really professional as you can see. But I have problems of trying to attach the wings together due to the fact that each and every one of them are joined by a ball socketed joint. So you can see a bit hard right there. But overall, it is a really nice kit as you can see after me doing some posing, I'm actually going to attach it to the stand. Now due to the sheer size of it, I think I'm going to actually put it right there. Now actually the stands can I don't have its own socket like your typical Gundam. You have to actually slide it into some of the sections as you can see. Some of the stands can actually hold up the wings and some of them hold the tail. So overall it supports the model well. So overall this is a nice kit to add to your collection. So that is all from my review. Thank you for joining me today. Do like, share and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I do. Again, with the wings, they tend to have this problem not attaching to the main model that well. But due to the fact of the ball socketed joint, you know you can't just sink it in that well. So I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I do again. I hope you enjoy everything that we did today for Gundam.my and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care of yourself Gundam pilots and take care of yourself hunters. Ciao!